In this video, I just want to show you how to do example five using your calculator. So you, what you want to do first is put your values into L1 and L2. So I'm going to go to stat, enter, and then L1 is going to be the three, four, and five. And then L2 is the probabilities. So it's two fifths. So you can just type like two divided by five right there. Um, one fifth and two-fifths. Okay, so then what you do is you go to stat, go over to calc, one bar stats, and then L1 is your main list, and then your frequency list should be L2. So if that's blank, go ahead and type second two there, and that's gonna type in L2, and then you'll go to calculate. Okay, so if the problem is asking you for the mean, then the top answer there, the X bar, that's your answer. So X bar equals four. So that's what we figured out on our own over here in that problem. And then to get the variance and the standard deviation, well, you can see we have what our sigma is. So sigma X, which is the standard deviation, is the 0.8944 number. So if you needed to round that to the first decimal place, that would be 0.9, which is what we got when we did it by hand. And then to get the variance, you just need to square sigma and you wanna square the exact value. So this is where you go to second bars. Nope, maybe I lied. Um, when we quit, you just go to bars. That's what it is, not second bars, just um, variables. And then go down to five, which is statistics. And then go down to four and you're gonna grab the stored value that's in for sigma, and then square that, and you get 0.8, which is exactly what we got by hand. So when you do it by calculator, you know, just put your stuff in your list. It's gonna tell you what your X bar, and which is really mu for this application, um, it'll tell you what that is and what sigma is, and then you take sigma and you square it, and that'll give you the answer for the variance.